What's up guys, and today we got the playoff KJ Wright, 92 overall, coverage linebacker, and Seattle chemistry. Now I do have some chemistry boost with him, so keep that in mind. 6 foot 4, 85 speed, 77 strength, 91 play rec, 89 hit power, 91 pursuit, 94 tackle, 87 excel, and 91 block shed. Now the major selling point for me for this card was his 89 zone. Now right here, I got him to a 91 zone, but trust me, even without it, 89 zone is still phenomenal. Only has a 78 jump, but of course being 6 foot 4, that doesn't really matter that much. Because the head is pretty damn tall. And 67 catch, which I'll talk more about that later. Now, the first thing that stuck out, man, is he reminds me of a linebacker in terms of being able to perform the knockout. And for those of you who don't know, when I say the knockout, I'm talking about when a player catches the ball and the defender knocks the ball out. Like these right here, these are all completed passes, but the last second he knocks the ball out. And this player right here was my favorite, man. Look, he knocked the ball out, plop it in the air, and my uh, linebacker picked it off and ran back for six. So, man, the guy is so aggressive when it comes to knocking the ball out. And, of course, when it came to zone coverage, man, he locked it up. And even though he's more of a 4-3 linebacker, it doesn't matter. As I've said so many times, 4-3 linebackers and 4-3 players can't work in a 3-4 system. Javon Curse is the biggest example I've ever seen. Look at this play right here. There's Javon Curse. There's KJ Wright. Look at Curse get a clean block shit immediately and then make the, the guy panic throw it to KJ Wright's side and KJ Wright finishes it up both of them are 4-3 players and they flourish in the 3-4 in a 3-4 system man so that kind of stuff never bothered me if a player is a 4-3 or 3-4 as long as you do what I need you to do that's all that matters and really all I want him to do was just just be a good uh, zone linebacker and he is and like I said don't expect too many of those interceptions and when it came to tackling, man, he was a sure tackler. Had like 15 solo tackles. He had one missed tackle, but I believe that was against LaShawn McCoy. But anyways, when it came to pass rushing, that was the only thing that got a low grade. Not a great pass rusher whatsoever, by the way. If you're getting him because you want him to blitz and pass rush, don't bother him and go with somebody else. If you just want him to be a zone linebacker and just lock down his side of the field, that's a different story. He will be a great zone linebacker. He will be a great tackler if somebody comes his way and also like i said don't expect too many interceptions he's not aggressive when it comes to interceptions he's more like of a swat uh, a, a swat kind of guy so overall man he did what i needed him to do so that's gonna wrap this up guys and right now he's going for like 115k to me man i'm a little shocked he's going for so low that is a very good price especially if you're looking for a good zone linebacker and a good uh, good tackler do not pick him up like i said if you want a pass rusher that's not what he's for He's not aggressive when it comes to interceptions, man. He's more of the kind of guy that's going to swat the ball down. But for me, that's good enough for me. And as far as next review, it will be Thomas Rawls. That's going to be my next review. But anyways, guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you boys later. Peace.